What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday! Oh my goodness, this house is an absolute dumpster fire. I'm, I'm just like stressed living in this, guys. So as you know, we're going through some home renovations, just small little updates for you. We're actually recording quite a bit of stuff step by step. We'll see what we can put together. We'd love to do like some sort of a home renovation vlog or like little mini series. It's just really hard because schedules are constantly changing. There's a lot of moving parts, but we're covering most of it for you guys. Our update now is that we do still have the dogs, so that's important, right? We're, we're not getting rid of those. Depending on behavior, we might consider it. We might have to upgrade models, but seriously, so all of this stuff is out here. We have to pull everything from every room in the house out into the middle of the room, wherever it is, because we're doing interior paint next week, which is very exciting, but also very stressful. Countertops are gone. They're being replaced. Backsplash is being replaced. This is how we currently cook. Probably gonna end up replacing the fridge. This thing stopped making ice and it leaks. We're considering it, we'll see what happens. Accent wall is going behind the TV. We're getting new countertops on the bar. You guys know we've talked about a lot of stuff going on outside as well. Just a little update for you guys. We're basically, we've got a home, but it, it doesn't feel like it. We're kind of homeless Don't at the moment. Worry. We still have Sundays, right, buddy? It's Super Cooper Sunday! Good boy. So, because our home is in such disarray, and it doesn't really even feel like we have a home right now, we figured, why not go camping? As you guys saw previously, the pool is currently empty, so we thought, hey, let's turn it into our own personal campground. It is officially fall in Florida. The temperatures are dropping, which is nice, which is gonna make it livable out there. If it was the middle of summer, there's no way we would survive. Fewer mosquitoes, it'll get down to the 50s. It's gonna be great, maybe even a little chilly, which will be fun, but we've gotta go get camping supplies. You ready? Ready, let's do it. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> Target run is done, we bought. So much stuff. My favorite thing to do is run to Target. I, I wouldn't say that this, like we're, we're not really camping. I would call it more along the lines of glamping. We've got an electric skillet. We've got lights. We've got all kinds of stuff. We're not really roughing it. Also, we'll be three steps away from our back door. <laughs> well, we, we aren't allowed to do that. Look at these cotton candy skies. This is perfect, Coop. Perfect camping weather. Are you ready? You want to lead the charge? Let's go. He actually has the right idea. All right, Coda, you want to get in there too? First things first, we got to set up our campsite. Seriously, look at that purple, pink sky and lake in the background. We've got a stunner of a sunset happening. Are you supposed to be outside? I know you ventured out in the drain video. I guess we could potentially bring you out later, but I think for setup, Let's, let's, maybe not. Look at all this fun stuff. I what know. is going on? Coop, what do you got? What do we bring you? Oh, he already found the dog toys. Of course he did. Let's see which one he, he chooses. See whose was the favorite. That one's not a dog toy. The sleeping bag is the favorite dog toy. It's nice of us to, to buy that for him. You know you're really roughing it when you've got a nice view of downtown from your campsite <laughs> over the lake with, with your boat and you know the house behind you. Your neighbor's Christmas tree over there. <laughs> yeah, we're, I mean, we're, that's a forest, right? We're out in the forest. Look at these trees. We are one with nature. <laughs> Look, we've even got black panthers roaming around. Oh no. Be careful. Large wild cat. Never really know when you're gonna get uh, attacked. So we've got a compass here. Coop, you see it? This is gonna light our way to the campsite. We don't really know what direction we're going, so we're gonna head down this way. Coda, where do you think would make a good campsite? You, you don't like, you're scared of the compass. <laughs> also, I think our, our, oh, nope, there it is, it's back. Our compass broke for a second. $10 compass, maybe not the best investment, but uh, hey, it, it kinda works. Coopy, can you please not tear up the blankets before we Settle down for the night. On the plus side, that's the one I picked out for him, so at least he got the right one. We got a bunch of blankets, a couple electric ones, and then also some throws for the boys. So, Koopy has chosen the snowman one. I'm gonna put this around your neck, and that way we'll never get lost. It's our little 
little Boy Scout. So first things first, most important thing is making sure we're able to sleep. We are going to get this queen size air mattress with headboard out about the most glamping way of doing things possible. This is gonna be great. Can't have anything nice. What is the purpose? He what just. Are you to here? This thing was brand new five seconds ago, and now it's covered in his hair. <laughs> you guys might be able to see Coda's getting a little bit nervous about this whole airbed situation here. He keeps turning and, and watching it from the side eye, but it's not gonna get you, buddy. Or maybe it might. Okay, he's he's fully nervous now. I promise you, buddy, it's just a bed. You may even be able to, to lay on it later, huh? What do you think? It's pretty fancy. It's got a nice headboard. I love, wow. It even like, it, it's got like a gap in between the headboard and the bed. Like this is actually pretty fancy. Camping's done. Camping's done. That's all we needed. And that's the episode. I'm gonna go inside. You guys enjoy your time out here. Hopefully uh, you don't get eaten up by the mosquitoes and uh, I guess uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye Coop. I'll see you later. I'm actually coming inside. Uh, because it's glamping, this isn't cheating using electricity. We're gonna have some extra lights, at least until we get things set up. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't leave you. Good boy. Look at this, it's almost like it's daytime. We totally aren't cheating on camping. This is not a big deal. Okay, let's get this thing set up, get the blanket set up, get the lights set up. We've still got a lot to do. And we made it. Look at this setup, huh? We've got a queen size bed, two nice dogs, and a bunch of toys. Look at these. These are my favorite toy that I think we've ever gotten him. There's cookies inside the bag that he has to open. That's fantastic. But yeah, we've got a bed, electric blankets, normal blankets, little dog bed, cozy corner back in the corner. This is going to be our dinner setup. We've got a George Foreman grill. <clears throat> I mean, uh, you know, flint and... Uh, nickel for steel what do you use to spark we've got like straw and flint that we're gonna use to uh, to cook our meat um, we've got a cinchonella candle to uh, actually just kidding we like found this really cool plant that um, yeah, really deters cool. mosquitoes yeah, really cool. yeah so we're, we're really roughing it out here we do have these this is gonna be the last part of the setup we're gonna make some like overhanging fairy lights just cuz it'll help with filming the video and, and light and everything so let's put these up It's really hard to get things to stick to the side of the wall. Like we're, we've got uh, command strips, gorilla tape, and duct tape all together in one and it's still not staying. Wow, how romantic this is. <laughs> Just a date for the two of you, huh? Ooh, this is actually super sick. Oh my goodness, I love it. What do you think, buddy? Do you like it? You feeling nice and cozy? It feels so good out here. I wonder what the temp is. 65 degrees. It's going to get down to a feels like of 51. No, that's too cold. I'm actually really excited about that. We've got the heated blanket on. My booty is on fire right now. It feels great. Cora, come here. Come on, good boy. He was just trying to stay out of our way as we were trying to hang these lights, which was no easy feat. Come on, buddy. And not be disturbed. Has he ever tried a, a heated blanket before? Good boy. Oh, do you feel that warmth? 
So this checkered one here, as well as the white one in the back are both heated blankets. Come on, good boy. You can get up there, go. Good boy. Oh yeah. Oh, just We've got these fun little remotes. We can adjust the temperature. I haven't used an electric blanket in so, oh. Maybe Koda doesn't really like it. He's thriving in the, the cooler weather. Update, one of the best parts about camping is that we can go potty whenever we want. Come on, let's go. We're already outside, so there's no extra work. Look at that, how fancy. What a big boy, able to take yourself potty? That's impressive. Ugh, after such a long day, just wanna kick the shoes off and relax. It's a good thing we got the queen size mattress so that he could sleep literally on top of you. Look at all the unused space. 60% of this mattress is unused. <laughs> the whole bottom part. And he's gonna be right on top of you. Coda, you're missing a good cuddle session over here. I think you might be onto something, Charles. I think he's... What's happening? <laughs> he broke his foot and he just wants to stay away from everyone. But seriously, I think, you know, obviously with all that hair, enjoying this cool weather is obviously a pretty exciting thing for him. I don't know, Coop, what do you say? It's 7.03. Do you think it's about time for dinner? I know we've been, we've been laying here for a while. It's been a good like 30, 45 minute nap. You awake? Mm -hmm. You are awake. You fell asleep though, right? Yeah, I put that duct tape on you and I don't think you noticed, but yeah, I think we're gonna go, uh, we've gotta go forage for food. So we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go figure that out and we'll, we'll bring it back, okay? Oh man. Hard work. We found the mother load here. This is a, a crazy- kill. Right? <laughs> a crazy log we just turned over. Look at all this protein. And we even a have- A log we just turned over. Are we Timon and Pumbaa? <laughs> we're scrounging for bugs. Don't you worry, boys. We've got plenty of food to go around. Charles, come here. Are you boys cuddling? Oh, Coda just got up. You missed it. They were cuddling together. Oh man, this is hard work. Look at this, Charles. We gotta plug it in. Start it, start the fire. And now we've- start now we've got our fire started here. Our nice little personal George Foreman. This is the smallest grill I've ever seen. It's so cute. But it's gonna be perfect for us. Here we go. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. Look at Coop in the background. <laughs> wow, how many is she gonna, three? Beautiful. Look at, oh my gosh, it smells so good. That's why I did three so we could split one. <laughs> oh, genius. Your wieners were running away. Yes, they were. Don't let them get too far off the grill, right, Coop? Oh, your butt's <laughs> still on the heated blanket. <laughs> Good boy. Getting one more flip in here. Get the nice char marks all the way around. Sign of a great cook. This is a good little grill. I'm shocked. We had a propane grill picked out and we couldn't find any propane. So right at the very last checkout aisle, we saw these on an end cap. It's a $15 George Foreman but it's worked out perfectly. We've got two tired and hungry boys. I wish I could explain just how good this smells. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Maybe we've just it. been outside too long. We just need a good hot dog. <laughs> Look at this. Oh Hold my on, goodness. Hold on. A nice hot dog in cold weather after camping. There's nothing better than that, right? You ready, Coop? Here we go. Good boy. <laughs> Are you gonna... Did he just swallow that hole? I think he did. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna choke. <laughs> I don't think not I don't think he actually bit in it. I don't think he ever chewed it. I think it just went straight down. <laughs> like a water slide. And he'd do it I again. Think I got the expensive ones for flavors. So he'd do it again. It. Koda. You ready? Back up. Set. You gotta set. You gotta sit. Are you ready for your hot dog? Good boy. Much nicer. And actual chews. That was a lot, a lot better. Nice job. He gave me a little kiss on the knee to thank me. Oh, nice. Hey! You can take the first bite. I guess you cooked it, that's fair. Ooh. Oh, that's got a nice crunch to it. Yeah, and it's 
like juicy and flavorful. I think it's really rude that you're eating that hot dog and not offering him a bite. Who didn't even appreciate the one I gave you? Don't you? You take a You can take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Good you're boys. So much more polite, polite. You're so different. <laughs> These are genuinely really good hot dogs. They really are. Like I, I want to cook some more for us later. While she's cooking two more hot dogs for the humans, I'm thinking maybe I, I don't know, open this up and maybe eat some apple or something. Let's see what we have here. We've got little like cheese crackers, kind of like goldfish. We've got apples. We've got cheese slices up here. Nice. I'm really looking forward to eating this all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> he stole like a little half of one. He can he can have a piece of cheese. Good boy. Don't take all of it. Don't take all. You took half of it. He just took half the cheese right there. Could be you can have a slice of cheese. Good boy. Maybe Coda would like an apple. Good boy. Coopy, would you like an apple? Yeah, And maybe maybe a cracker. Yeah, nice job chewing. Unlike the hot dog. Cody, you want some more cheese? These guys are getting a whole Lunchable right now. <laughs> he really thinks he's getting away with something too. Like you don't know that he's stealing it all. He didn't even eat his apple. No. He only wants the cheese and the crackers. You, you ate it all. He likes, he likes a nice charcuterie board. <laughs> Good boys. Nice dinner. We'll, we'll give them kibble later. This isn't going to be all they get, but um, just a nice little treat. When you met me six and a half years ago, did you think that six and a half years from now we would be eating hot dogs on a <laughs> blow up mattress in the deep end of our pool? That first date, <laughs> did, you, did you ever see this? As... No. Well, I probably wouldn't have gone on a second date, honestly. <laughs> You're welcome for making your dreams come true. This is the height of luxury, honestly. This is it. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. Update, it's cold. It's uh, 54 degrees currently, 10.09 p.m. Coop is chilling, vibing, hanging out. He's warming me up. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like our little central heater, so we're very <laughs> thankful for him. Even with the heated blankets, it's cold. He helps. Coda still doesn't want to cuddle, he's just really enjoying the weather. He's Great Pyrenees, he's from the Pyrenees Mountains in France. I would imagine it's a bit colder there right now. Chels is Black Friday shopping. We've also been watching a little bit of Succession, which <laughs> I think we're gonna get back to and I actually have a surprise for you. I don't even think you know I have this, but we'll talk about that later. But I'm thinking it's about some more time. Wow, look at this. Got out of our warm bed to make some dessert, huh? Now here's the deal, dogs cannot have marshmallows. They obviously cannot have Reese's cups because there's chocolate. No matter how much you smile at me, you're not gonna get any. You can have graham crackers though. So we'll give you a little, a little taste of something. You're not gonna get the full experience. Let's see how this is working. Is it getting hot? It's hot. Now I don't know how you really Toast a marshmallow on a Actually, grill. I have an idea. Can you bring the top down over top of? Oh, oh, oh! Look not at this. you. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> You're not ever getting this marshmallow. So just. Unfortunately, without an open fire, this is going to be more difficult than we, you know. Oh, oh! We've got some jarring going on. Look at this life hack. These things are going to taste so bad. It's going to taste like butane. No. I, I don't know if this is gonna be something we're gonna wanna eat, but we'll, we'll see. Smells good. In the meantime, would you like a graham cracker? Good boy. And I heard you might like graham crackers too. Good boy. Looks like our marshmallow experiment is somewhat working. <laughs> this is, what are we doing right Give now? We're, we're in the deep, deep end of our pool. <laughs> Although we considered getting like a big fire pit and putting it down here, something told us putting that in our pool probably wasn't the best idea. I wish this worked out better, but thanks for hanging with us. Just a marshmallow fiend over here doing anything she can. I need like a blowtorch. To get a taste of it. And there it is. Graham cracker, marshmallow, Reese's cup. Best I can do. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. <laughs> Look at that right there. Actually looks pretty good. All I mean, right. it smells it inside. I'm gonna try it. Let's do a little taste test. 
is judging you so hard right now. It's good? It's good, it's warm and melted. Nice. I like it. This girl has put a marshmallow in between two Reese's paper packages to be able to heat it up. That actually, <laughs> that worked. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's messy. But it works. Look at that, tell me that doesn't look amazing. They agree, but again, they're not getting any. And for her final trick, she's gonna be putting a whole pre-made cold s'more on the George Foreman and then shutting the grill on it. Your brains and ingenuity never cease to amaze me, <laughs> especially when it comes to food. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her in there. Coop is so, so serious about this. He but just- You're never gonna eat a s'more. He just really, he can't, he can't believe this. But yeah, well, I'll let you guys know how this goes. If you're never gonna eat a s'more, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can have graham crackers only. We've got char marks on the graham crackers. It's really hot. I've never <laughs> seen anything like this in my life, but I love it. All right, s'mores segment is over. Sorry, boys, Cody gave up a long time ago. Coop is still determined. It's just not gonna happen. Now, one family member that we don't wanna leave alone for too long because she's obviously craving a little attention. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this episode isn't really fair to Bella. She's in here in the house completely by herself all night. That's not right. So we're thinking maybe, maybe we bring her out, but we're gonna play it safe and we're gonna make sure she's safe. Cue the backpack. Come on, Bella. Not the idea that I was having. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look who's waiting for their sister. Here she comes, guys. <laughs> Welcome. They're all trying to sniff her. Come you guys on. are sweet. <laughs> That's nice, Koda. Is that your friend? It's 1051 and now it's a real party. We brought the cat. <laughs> <laughs> the animal is here. We're gonna kinda give her a little bit of freedom. I don't want her to get all spooked and run away or anything, but. Oh, she wants oh. out. Okay. She's interested. All right, look at that. Good girl. <laughs> you saying hi to everybody? Look at this. This is a nice electric blanket right here. You feel how warm that is? She doesn't really want to hang out with us. I see the dog bed. She's like, this is something's not right. I thought she was going home for a second. <laughs> yeah, she, I think she might be. Is she going home? <laughs> <laughs> so we tried this briefly with her in the pool drain episode last week. I'm sure you guys saw that. We wanted to make sure she felt loved and invited here, but it's looking like it might not be her thing. She made her way to the stairs. She said, I want nothing to do with this. I'm, I'm not a camping girl. <laughs> Are you a five-star resort cat? You ain't a camping cat? Is that what it is? Oh, oh no, she's down. Okay, she's down to hang out. She just wants to roll around on the ground again just like last week. I say you stay here. I think this is a good spot for you where we can keep an eye on you. We can't really trust you to be over there because we don't know if you could potentially run away. She just wants to roll around on the floor. I don't understand. This pool texture is called quartz. It's one of the things we're replacing. I mean, it's kind of rough, not really. I, it's like she's like trying to scratch her back or something, but I, I just really don't know. I, I just don't get it. What kind of weird cat things are you trying to tell us? I, I don't understand this body language. I'm looking up, why do cats roll in new places? Your breath is atrocious. <laughs> um, to mark their territory and keep away other cats as well as possible enemies. So she's oh. protecting us, that's really cute. She's actually. putting, what, what's, the, what's the Harry Potter thing that they put on? Oh, the, like, the, 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 like a protective spell? I yeah, so the Death Eaters can't find them? That's what she's doing. <laughs> Bellatrix Lestrange, are you putting a curse on us? We appreciate it. Cody, you got this, right, bud? If we go back to watching our show, you'll make sure she doesn't run away, right? You'll do your, your big brother guard dog duties? <laughs> I thought he was gonna step on it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, she is just chill. This uh, makes me really happy. I wish we had some sort of a big fence or something we could put on the stairs so yeah, she couldn't get past nervous it. Nervous that if she gets spooked. But she's she's being a good girl. She's broadening her horizons, and now she owns us and the pool. And look, Coda's actually blocking her way out. Nice job, Coda. Good job, buddy. <laughs> So we've been watching her. She's walking around looking up a lot and sniffing and stuff. And she'll like do a lap. She'll go all the way to the stairs, but she won't go out. She'll do a lap. She'll check on Coda. She'll check on Coop. Looks like she's coming back to check on Coop right now. But she's being a good girl. She's staying in here with us. It's nice. Are you a good girl? Bella? My tail is just flicking. <laughs> yeah. After about... 35 minutes, we've gotten brave enough to go up to the top step, and I think we've lost our outside privileges because we definitely don't want her to run away. You wanna go home? It kinda looks like you wanna go home. The door's not open for you. I'll get it open though. Is this what you wanted? You can stay with us if you want, but you've gotta stay inside the pool. It looks like she's trying to get inside. Go home, go ahead, go home, go home. Good girl. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Love you, Bella. So this is how we've been watching our show so far. This is my beautiful new 14 inch MacBook Pro, which is great for travel and work and whatever else, but gonna be honest, it's a little a little small for this. Are you enjoying it? Um, yeah, I just I mean, it's uh, not the TV, but it'll and, work. Yeah, we can- Give me one second. This can you plug this in for me? In the computer? Yeah. What's it for? On the right side. I bought this guy a few weeks ago. She still doesn't even know. What? We have a projector, girl. <laughs> Look how fancy we are. I think I think it's just plug and play like that. Oh, this is sick. This just got 10 times better. I feel like we're at like a drive-in movie or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. It's 11.45, we're gonna put down a couple episodes of Succession. It's a great show if you guys haven't seen it yet. We'll keep you guys updated, but we're just vibing. All right, guys, I think we both fell asleep. The uh, the projector's been off for a while. I don't even know. Coop, Coopy's asleep. Coda's asleep over over here somewhere. We're all very tired. Mm -hmm. Good night, buddy. We love you. Good night, buddy. We love you, too. Don't think we don't notice that you position yourself right at the entrance to everything. We appreciate you keeping us safe. I've got to go up and take my contacts out, and then I'm going to come back down. We'll see you guys in the morning. Coopy, Coopy, are you awake? Coopy, how'd you sleep? What are you doing over there? You wanna come here? You don't want, he, just, he doesn't wanna wake up. I'm so cold. I'm freezing. I'm ready to go inside. Yeah. Like I'm frozen to the bone. The camera's really cold to hold. Come here. Hi, buggy. How did you sleep? Were you nice and warm? Oh my goodness. He's so sleeping. Good boy. Yeah, I don't think he really has any in intention of actually. Oh, stretch, stretch. Oh, your own. There's a lot. There's a lot happening here. I'm not. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Koda, what are you doing? Koda, are you awake? Yeah. Looks like you're up. I don't think Koop has any intention of getting up. All right, I'm going inside. I'm cold. I, my hands are like. Icicles, yes. I'm tired too. I don't know if I really slept well, but it was pretty comfortable. Let's see if Bella's still trying to get out. Oh, babe, Bella's still trying to get outside. She's she's right there. I don't know if you guys can see her. Okay. Anyway, that's a wrap. We did it. Camping overnight in the cold. That was a lot of fun. I really want to do like. I genuinely enjoyed like the coldness and the electric blankets and everything. I would love to actually go camping. Like in a tent. You wanna go camping in a tent, Coop? If you guys would like to see that, drop a like in the video. Let us know what you guys wanna see next down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. We will see you guys next Sunday on Super Cooper Sunday. Catch you all later. Peace out.